Hello YouTube, this is USNA98 here with the first in what I hope to be a series of videos uh, on a restoration project of what's inside the box you see in front of you. Uh, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of it uh, just to give you a little hint. Um, this box comes all the way from what's now known as Latvia, but at the time was part of the Russian Empire in World War I. Um, and it's a German sniper or trench shield that was used in some of the fighting that occurred there on the northern front in World War I. So uh, a, a guy off of eBay uh, was selling this. He dug it out of a field there um, off the banks of a river there uh, in Latvia where some of the fighting took place. Um, it's in pretty rusty condition from the pictures that I saw, but it appears to be complete. Uh, with the stand uh, and uh, the rotating shield um, for the shield. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a sec while I cut into most of this box and then we'll pick back up uh, right before I open it up. Okay, so I've got most of the box open here and as I suspected, it's a pretty rusty mess. So I'm going to continue cutting into the box. I'll fast forward the video here if uh, to skip through the boring parts, but I uh, just wanted to give you a, a good view of what it's looking to look like inside. The eBay are packed it very well. Um, it was wrapped great. It, it was sent via UPS. Uh, actually, pretty quickly, probably uh, less than two weeks, it arrived um, here to the U.S. from from Latvia. So let's take a look. All right, so like I said, uh, it's, other than rusty, uh, it is in really good condition as far as having all the original components. Um, it's pretty heavy. It probably weighs uh, 30 pounds or so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here for a second again and get it all propped up so we can take a look, better look at it. All right, we're back. So I've got it out of the box, um, as you can see. So it's propped up. Uh, again, um, this is a, a World War One German, it's really an infantry shield, I, I know I called it a sniper shield at the start, but um, it's kind of a misnomer. Uh, it wasn't just snipers who used these, it was essentially uh, the German infantry in the trenches. They would set these up as they poked their head over the top of the trench, um, could open up the observation post, uh, which is this uh, rotating uh, part here, which is kind of rusted shut right now, but once I get it all cleaned up, uh, it'll be able to open. They could rotate that open, take a look through there, uh, stick their Mauser uh, through that hole and um, take pot shots at the enemy, or the allies in this case. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there it is. I mean, it, it, it appears to be in great shape regard, you know, never mind the rust. The rust is pretty easy to take care of. Um, but it's intact. There's no cracks in it. Uh, this is all surface rust. Uh, when I remove this, you might even find some of the original paint, which I think you do see some of the original paint here, uh, which either appears to be like a, an olive or a field green, um, German field green color. Uh, it, it may be gray. It's kind of hard to, to, to tell from for right now. Um, there also appears to be, possibly, there's, uh, I found a bullet strike in here, potentially, which is right here. Um, I know it's hard to see from, from your view, but there's a, a divot right here, which kind of uh, goes into the back. There's a bulge in the back too. So it could have been a, a bullet um, hit there. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, I'm thrilled with this. It's in pretty great shape. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around so you can see the back side, uh, see how it gets propped up. Um, so there's the basically the kickstand, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and then this lever uh, opens this observation post uh, right here, which is fairly rusted shut right now. 
Um, but again, you know, it kind of looks like crap because uh, of the rust, but overall it's in really good condition, um, complete uh, everything that it should have been with it, I believe. So the plan is, um, I'm going to make a series of videos uh, showing the rust removal. A um, couple ways to, to do this. You could either uh, use a chemical method like um, evaporust or vinegar or something like that. Um, I've had a lot of success with uh, electrolysis rigs, reverse electrolysis rigs and removing the rust uh, when restoring uh, old guns, uh, anything that's been out of the ground. Uh, rusted up like this. I've had really good success with that. So my plan is to probably um, do a video on how I set up the elect electrolysis rig for this, um, show you how that's all done, and show you the results of that. Get it all cleaned up, get all the rust taken off, um, see what it's looking like after that. And then depending on how many views this gets or if I get any comments on this video at all, uh, I might open it up to see uh, what people think I should do with this. You know, there's a lot of debate uh, about whether you should restore something like this to what it looked like before or when it was used during the war, or if you should keep the natural patina and all the age of, you know, the item uh, as it is now. Um, it, it's a hard decision. Um, it's really up to the individual. You know, you can go either way. I know there are hardcore people saying, Yep, don't do anything to it, take the rust off, that's it. Uh, but I like to bring things back a little bit nicer than that. So we'll see, how, we'll see where we go from there, what it looks like after we get the rust off. Um, I'm actually gonna get another shield. It's in, the, it's in the mail right now on the way. It's a Russian infantry shield from World War I. Um, that also looks to be in pretty good shape. My eventual goal for this is I have uh, a wall in my basement that's got uh, a lot of weapons from the Great War on it, and I kind of want to hang this on the wall or mount it down on the floor with my uh, German Gewehr 98 maybe poking out of it uh, as a prop. Um, but it's kind of what my thoughts are, so I don't want it to be all rusty and falling apart on my floor in my basement. <laughs> so um, that's, that's the plan. Um, these videos are not going to be super frequent. Uh, as I have a job and family and everything else, so it's going to take some time uh, to get all this uh, set up and restoration process going. But I will continue to put out videos uh, on the progress that I made on this. Um, feel free to make any comments below if you have any questions. Uh, I'll try to answer them as best I can. Um, I'll get a few more shots closer in of the, of the shield here in a minute. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching my channel. Um, this is really the first video on the channel, so if you like this, uh, please hit like, subscribe. Um, you know, I'm not going to be putting videos out all the time, like I said, but I'll try to put um, a few out, sort of like this. This is kind of the projects I like to do, restore uh, old uh, wartime memorabilia. Um, I buy a lot of untouched antique firearms off of the uh, International Military Antiques website where they sell uh, the Nepal cash firearms. I like to restore those. I'm by no means an expert, um, but I do enjoy doing that. And if that's something you guys are interested in, I could show some of that. I also like doing uh, movie props, 3D printing, uh, trying to do screen accurate movie props, uh, that sort of thing. So that's kind of the focus of this channel, the school and fun stuff that I like to do, my hobbies. Um, thanks a lot. Bye.